Lily Gibson was doing something she does nearly every day. The 87-year-old woman was going for a walk through the annex, and then she was attacked from behind. I was just walking on leisurely along Bloor going east and cut down on Brunswick, and halfway down the block, I felt somebody tugging at my purse, which I was carrying, and it just had two uh, thin straps. And I thought originally that a friend of mine was playing a joke, you know. And then when I re realized that this person was really tugging and no comments, I must have tried to grab it because you see the three fingers here? Mm -hmm. uh, they're bandaged up because they're scraped quite badly. It wasn't the way Lily imagined spending her Thanksgiving Monday. The man took her purse containing her mobile phone, wallet and other sundries well before dark. It was only 5.45 p.m. He did it so quickly and so efficiently that I didn't have time to respond and then I was pushed to the ground and I've had four hip operations so once I'm down I can't get up unless I get help. But by this time, I am screaming my head off, yelling, help, help. Neighbors came to her assistance, but they couldn't find the culprit. Police and paramedics were called, but within an hour, her credit card had been used four times. You've lived here almost 50 years, or over 50 years. Mm -hmm. Nothing like this has ever happened. No. How do you feel about your neighborhood now? Well, basically, I think it's a very close-knit neighborhood, and, you know, um very welcoming and helpful, so I don't have any negative feelings. I just feel angry that this happened. Lily, who's endured a lifetime of tears, including the loss of her eldest son at a young age, says she hopes police catch the suspect, but she won't let him keep her from enjoying life. I'm not even fearful. Uh, I know that a lot of people would react with fear, but I, I never have in situations like this. Are you going to continue going on your walks? Of course not. I mean, <laughs> I don't want fear to dominate my movements. Now, Lily didn't get a good look at the suspect, but thankfully, several surveillance videos were able to capture his photo. You could see it here, but also see his full description and revisit this photo on our website. That's citynews.ca. In the annex, Christina Howard, City News.